Well, as promised, I have this 1084 steel well patinaed kitchen knife that I forged about a year ago with this wooden handle, and they have both really suffered from the patina. You can tell this knife spent some unwanted time at the bottom of a wet sink. So it never went through the dishwasher, but the handle has this sort of long crack down the backside, and it's just looking really ratty. The original finish was Danish oil and not much else, and that just didn't really hold up in the kitchen. I've got the spacer area taped off. I'm going to go over the finish with some acetone to help lift out any grime and dissolve some stuff that I might not want there under the Starbond medium black colored CA glue, which is very unique. And I'm hoping that's going to fill in these gaps and help stabilize things and give us something we can reapply another finish on over it. I've only really used CA glue on handles a few times in the past because I've had concerns about its durability, basically. I just don't have that much, much experience with it, and there are other finishes available that people seem to like. So Starbond contacted me. They sent me this product to try, so let's just see what happens. I'm spraying their accelerant on it because the medium thickness glue otherwise takes about 5 to 15 minutes to dry, depending on how thick it is applied. All right, let's get after it with some sandpaper. I'm gonna go up to 600 grit before reapplying some Danish oil, which I'll let dry for, I don't remember how long, about half a day. It was a pretty thin layer. As you can see, the star bond was still in the crack on the back and it's actually filled in some other little areas that I didn't really notice before. So that's pretty cool. Rub that Danish oil in there, Steve. Rub it. Kudos to Starbond for including extra caps with each bottle and these fine applicator tips with each purchase. That's really cool. Again, if you guys like this, check out the affiliate code below. It helps the channel. So they sent me some thick glue, which I'm not really going to use. I'm just going to apply the medium glue with this glove onto the knife, and I'm going to do two coats. I'll let it dry for about 15 minutes between them. I'm not going to use the accelerant to let it dry. It's just going to dry on its own. So two coats later, I'm going to get after it with some sandpaper. I'll start at 320, go to 600, then 1,000 grit. And you basically, the 320 should just smooth everything out. There's some lumps and bumps, and uh, the surface will be white and uniform and no lumps and bumps, basically. And that's when you go on up. It doesn't take long. It sands pretty easily. So I'm going to uh, put it on this buffer, a low-speed buffer with white compound on a cotton wheel. It doesn't take long, and it shines right up. I have to say, like, this was easier to apply than I thought. It, it dries really quickly so I can wrap up a handle in like an hour instead of a day or two waiting for other products to, to dry and cure and stuff. I've been using this kitchen knife regularly now for about four weeks, and the finish has held up perfectly. So there's no chips or scuffs or scratches. And to be honest, even if there were, they would probably be pretty easy to repair. Um, so I don't have much experience again with other CA glue brands. I can't say this is any tougher or anything like that, but overall I'm impressed. I'm going to continue to use it and repair closing gaps, a nice, smooth, shiny finish that holds up. It's great. So is it food safe? I got no idea. You have to do your own research on that. I recommend you check it out. You guys have a good one.